welcome back. Um, so in this video we're going to see how to in, uh, obtain and install uh, Pathway Tools, which is a companion software that uh, essentially is the whole purpose of the pipeline. The whole purpose of the pipeline is to take a metagenomic sample, uh, figure out what genes there are, you know, identify them in the database, and then to take that annotation and to project it onto uh, the MetaPsych framework of pathways and genes, and then predict a bunch of pathways. And so the Pathway Tools has the functionality, is the software that can has the functionality to do that. And uh, so the way you obtain it is by uh, going to this website here, uh, I guess it's www.biopsych.org slash download dot shtml. And when you get to this orange bannered website, um, you'll need to, uh, you want to do this, you want to download the Pathway Tools software database bundle. And there's a lot of options on how to do this, um, but you want to uh, get a complete license. And so this is free if you're a member of an academic institution, and uh, it's a fee if you need to um, if you need to do uh, if you're a private business. And you just click here, and then we want a sort of academic license, and so you can click here. Um, and so you go and find your institution in this list. So I'll try to find the University of British Columbia, but there's a huge, a huge list. Boom! I saw it there. And fill, filled out this form, and uh, well, actually, you <laughs> can request request a new license. So after you've you know sort of maneuvered your way through this form you will um, essentially get, uh, it usually takes about a day for uh, SRI International and the, the guys down at Peter Karp's group to approve anybody new. But then once you do, um, essentially, beginning of end of it is you're going to get some kind of binary that looks like, like, like this. Um, and, uh, when you get do get the options, for most people, the e there's like a bunch of options with a bunch of different databases. Uh, and generally, you'll just need the EcoPsych and MetaPsych, the simplest one, the simplest combination. Um, and in any case, you can always download additional databases from within the Pathway Tool software. Um, so there's doc there's actually like the software itself is extensively documented. And so any questions you have about how Pathway Tools works, and it's also got like a hundred, like maybe hundreds of pages of, of documentation on how to use the software and its user manual. And uh, any other problems you have, do direct it to Peter Karp or one of the, one of the people at the Bioinformatics Research Group at SRI International. Because um, they're, they're quite actively developing the software and would be very happy to help you. But in any case, after you get this thing, uh, this uh, binary, you just have to open it up. Uh, double click this icon here to start the installation wizard. And so once that starts up, you'll get yourself to a window like this. It's like we're going to install it. Um, Click next to continue, um, and for simplicity, we're going to keep this uh, thing in our uh, home directory. So users, my name, and pathway tool, pathway dash tools, and uh, that that will help you in configuration later because we've actually sort of anticipated this. And the other one is they have another folder. Um, called ptools local, and this is actually where all your uh, PGDBs are going to sit after they're made. So there's the application folder, and then there's this PGDB folder. Um, both of these we're going to put in your home directory. Um, in this case, this is just users my name, and then uh, just, but it can, you could put it anywhere you want for convenience. So, but wherever you do put it, uh, 
remember where you did. <laughs> you might want to write these down right now because you're going to have to shove them into a configuration file uh, or specifically this guy into a configuration file later. Um, and then if you want to, you know, have some desktop shortcuts, sure. Start, <laughs> start the thing from my desktop. Right on. So that finished, and uh, so you can we can see it try to start Pathway Tools. So there we go. Um, so this is the Pathway Tools software, and these two, the E. coli and the Metasite, are uh, two internal PGDBs that come along with every version. And so um, there's another way to use it, but uh, at least by starting it, we know that the software works. And that our installation of Pathway Tools is successful. Now, uh, one other thing. Uh, there's also, if you need to learn more about how to use Pathway Tools, I'd recommend going and watching some of these uh, webinars that they call them on, on biosec.org. And um, they'll tell you about, um, you know, overview of what biosec is and genes and pathways and the proteins and reactions and the compounds that all make it up and uh, different things that you can do with uh, Pathway Tools, like the comparative uh, stuff that you can actually use to compare your metagenomes. Uh, finally, um, just a quick thing. Uh, you should, to, just a quick reminder, uh, you should figure out where your uh, ptools local directory is, because uh, here's the, the pgdbs folder and the user, and so uh, Right now, this folder is empty, but this is where all the PGBs end up at the end of meta, uh, meta pathways. And second of all, this is the pathway tools directory where um, uh, where the pathway tools software sits. And so you should know where both directories are. Just, uh, just something to know. All right. In the next uh, video, I will cover some basics of downloading BLAST databases um, and, uh, and where to put them and what they need to look like and possibly a bit of the uh, configuration of the pipeline.